Most people say that women live in a man's world, but men and women are really equal because men would be nothing without women, especially like your mother. She gives birth to you. She takes care of you. No one should face prejudice or social injustice just because of who they are. My name is Mkula. I'm 12 years old and I go to Tools of Queens. The students in the school, they're already unique and special. Just being here just brings it out. Our mission here is to empower women and I think one of the greatest things we can do to empower women is to let them know that they have their own story and that they have a space to share that story. I know that I deserve better. I know that my family deserves better and I know that what my mom has sacrificed for me, it isn't worth that I don't go to school. My dream is to make change as an African-American woman. My dream? is to make my mother proud. My dream is to give back to my community. My dream is to become a teacher. My dream is to see the world. In the morning, I get Granny ready because like the left side of her body was like knocked out after the stroke. So while she's in the shower, I brush my teeth. While I'm taking care of her, I'm taking care of myself. I do make breakfast, so I make oatmeal in the morning for them every day. My name is Tanisha Costello. I'm 16 years old, and I go to Tools Bronx. I know that I have to work harder to achieve what I want. But I guess that's like my main drive. I'm like, I cannot quit. I really want to go far. A lot of the students live in poverty. Some students live in shelters. Some students maybe only have single parent homes, so they have to play an adult role and help take care of siblings. Like a lot of our students, my family is first generation here. Um, so I think like a lot of them, I just wanted to make my mother proud because I know all the struggles that she went through coming to this country. So I know a lot of our students face the same. You have all these teachers that like are here supporting you, but you also have like so many friends that are there for you. A big all-girl family. The girls here are really taught from day one that they're going to college and that whatever they want to do, they can do it. The teachers here go above and beyond. Teachers will tutor during their lunch periods, and a lot of the teachers in this building, they run clubs. Almost all of the teachers here are focused on providing culturally relevant curriculum. I want them to know that what they have to say and how they want to tell their story, that there is a space for that. My mom is from Liberia. She always talks about where we come from and like how we got here. And she's been here for 20 years. She's a very strong woman. Like she's not afraid to say the things that are in her mind. Like she just speaks the truth. I never had no education. The war, the civil war in Africa. So I have to come here to get a better life. Better life for them. Makula is a strong little girl, very strong. I remember sister I have to go to school. I have to go to work. And when I left, I was crying, but I didn't cry in front of Makula. And Makula was fine. She said, Mommy, you proud of me? I said, yeah, I'm so proud of you. God is good. So that's why Makula is so strong in here. Let me find me. Thank you, Mom. If you work in a tool school, it's because you share that mission that you want to really help. Show them that they already have the tools to advocate and empower themselves. At school, I'm surrounded by sisters and mothers. They push me to be better, to be myself. To stand up and speak my own mind. To be proud of what makes me different. To believe in myself and my ambition. To accept my identity and wear it like a crown. My teachers don't make me great. They help me realize that I already am. I already am. I already am. I already am. I already am.